do it. You can't grow onto it. Work on your grip string. Ready? You're gonna have snap snap. <laughs> Welcome to Kansas City. Oh, oh, oh you're videotaping. <laughs> I bet you're taking a picture. Job. That was awesome. Pretty cool. Yeah, they have a petting zoo over there with a bridge, which is cool. We're just not into petting zoos. That's a big goat for a petting zoo. They should make a troll live under that bridge. <laughs> That'd be funny. We're in the Discovery Barn, and they have a little maze thing by the meerkats, since they like big tunnels. You can dig, crawl through the tunnel. You can squawk into the pipes. And they, the friends can hear you there, and the parents, and the tortoise. I'm really liking this Discovery Barn. It's cool. They've got some frogs in there, too. There's that. Yeah. I wish it was a spider. Scare Rach. Yeah. Because I'm not a hoochie. True. Hold on. back. Woo! That was good. I was holding them the whole time. <laughs> Where are we, Lula? It stinks so bad. I can't <laughs> pick my hands off my face. <laughs> okay, I love penguins. <laughs> They're just not the best smelling animals. <laughs> this is like when you get a ferret. <laughs> Ferrets are worse. Uh -uh. Oh, I just love, look how fun they are. Woo! Ready? Jump in with it. Run. Woo! Swimming with the penguin. Swimming with the penguin. The stickers on the apple. <laughs> Are you 
It's not a huge elephant exhibit, but it's just for here during feeding. Oh, he's like, okay. Alright, Leah, alright, good girl. There you go. Good job. Huh. We're on the Sky Fari. I think it's cool if you get to look over the stuff. Yeah, it is really cool. I thought this would be cool too. It's three dollars for a one way, five dollars for round trip. I think it's ten dollars for unlimited. I'm not sure on the unlimited price, but I mean, I don't really know why you'd want to do this unlimited, but literally there is nothing below you in the exhibit. They do put the bar down though. It's like a ski lift. And look, it even has the signs up here so you know what you're looking at. That's the thing is normally on these you don't know. Oh, it says a cheetah should be over here somewhere. Find the so cheetah. Out there. Yeah. There's ostrich and a zebra and several zebras and giraffes. That's cool to be on top of. Oh, there's a little giraffe. Look, he's small. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he is. Now this exhibit, it's about two acres. Uh, today is a perfect day to actually come out to the zoo. Everybody's moving around and doing great. But if you would happen to come and it's a really hot day, you may not see the gorillas. And people always get confused. They're like, well, they're from Africa. Why can't we see the gorillas on a hot day? And that is because gorillas in the wild would not drink any water. They get it all from the vegetation that they eat. Our gorillas were all born in captivity. They will drink a little bit of water, but not enough. Um, and there's no way for us to tell them you need to drink. It's a hot day. You're going to get dehydrated. So these guys will sit out here on a hot day over 95 and sweat and then not replace it. And especially mom since she is still nursing. So if it is over 95, that is our protocol. We will give them access to our air conditioned building. Nine times out of ten, they don't want to leave the air conditioned building after that. But we do try to get liquid into them. Um, one little secret that we found out is that Rod D really absolutely loves pink lemonade crystal light. Mm -hmm. So we try to get some fluids into them and then try to encourage them to come back out. Uh, the same for the winter. If you come back in the winter and it is under 45, they do not go out as well because they can get frost. But they are really fun to work with. It's always a challenge to keep them entertained. Gorillas in the wild would never sleep in the same spot twice. So what we do as keepers is, is try to make their bedrooms different every single night. So tonight when they come in, they're going to actually find out that they get to watch TV. Yes, they like TV. Uh, I have a big flat screen TV that I roll down the hallway and we put movies on for them. Uh, Rodi here, though I found out the hard way, does not like Disney princess movies. He will throw poo poo at the TV screen if that is on, but uh, he does like Cars, Nemo. Uh, Turbo is a snail movie he really likes. We do let him watch National Geographic stuff every once in a while to be a mean zookeeper. I'll put National Geographic snakes on there and then he freaks out and I get to clean the TV up the next day. <laughs> but uh, you can always tell if they're enjoying it because they will actually make a nest right by it and sit there and watch it. There's Missy Jackson. Is he missing a finger or is it just that? He actually is, yeah. When he was a baby, um, came from Zoo Atlanta and one of the other gorillas actually bit off part of it. So yeah. <laughs> he does really well, he doesn't really realize it. So that's Masika, that's the mom Makari. There goes Tufani over there. Uh, they can eat anything that's out here. This time of year they really are liking the acorns that are starting to fall from the trees. They can eat the bark off the trees, the leaves. They like the dandelions and the clover. People do get worried about her because they'll see her roll down the hill. That's just one of her favorite things to do. Um, and yes, there is poison ivy down there, but gorillas cannot get poison ivy. They have too much natural grease and oil on their skin. So not to worry about that. Is that good? <laughs> that thing there in the middle is a 
pool, but gorillas are not born knowing how to swim, so this summer we've been slowly starting to fill it for her. As a whole, gorillas really just don't like to swim. That's not something that they enjoy too much, but they will occasionally splash, you know, around in it with their feet or hands. And they're very, very different in their personalities. Um, Radhi, although I like him a lot and I am the primary gorilla keeper, I am not his favorite. And that's because I don't have blonde hair. He loves blondes. If you're a blonde zookeeper, he will blow kisses at you, follow you around, offer you pieces of food. Me, it's usually give me the food and move along. I did try a wig. He knew who it was. <laughs> did not work at all. But yeah, they're definitely very, very individual. Um, Makari there, fortunately for me, really enjoys my company, so she lets me interact with the baby quite a lot. It's always through a barrier, though, always through the mesh. Um, and like I said, Tufani there, she's very, very lazy, but I really love her. I think she's a challenge. Uh, when I first started here about three years ago, she knew three different commands. That's it. And she's currently now up to 31. So wow. I'm pretty proud of her. It's just yeah. a matter of finding ways to motivate her. Uh, gorillas are really fun to work with. They have uh, very high intelligence and they bond very closely with their keepers. It does make it a little hard for us keepers though because it's just myself and one other so we have to stagger our weekends and uh, vacations and such because anybody else that would try to go in the building with them and it would definitely upset them. They're very, they want to just be left in peace and quiet. Alrighty. Yep, it's on. Don't knock any kids off. Right. Oh. Is that exciting? Yeah. I mean, you can hurt you all the work. Yeah, you are. <laughs> she likes it. Story of your life. Yeah. So, are that's a, is that a dry erase? Off of hanging on. Okay. Ready? Yeah, I might drop my phone. Two, here I go. <laughs> Wasn't that exciting? <laughs> I just stood up. <laughs> Excuse my no makeup today. I got up at 3 a.m. to catch my flight to get here, so yeah, I don't do makeup at 3 a.m. But we're on the Sky Fari again. My sister's in front of me this time because we got lost. We could not figure out how to get back to the other half of the zoo. See, the zoo is not laid out real well. We keep end up like missing stuff and having to go back. Yeah, that's the like, downside. It's really spaced out, so definitely bring a stroller or something if you have kids. Look at them. So cute, riding the Sky Fari. Rach does not like stuff like this, so it's kind of comical. But see, there's the zebras and the giraffes and the rhino. It's a boat tour, which we're opting out of, but we haven't really seen that many people on it either. Ostrich isn't just sitting down anymore. It's up and, well, they are up and moving. Yeah, that's cool. We're looking at the kangaroos right now in the Australia exhibit. Literally no fence. No fence. No fence. What keeps them from coming over here and kicking me? I that's, wish they would come over here. If they do. <laughs> That kid over there is like clapping and trying to get him to come over here. They're probably interested. Oh, yeah, they're probably interested. <laughs> Look at her. She's like shaking her butt. They're like, eh. Dad, you got a problem. <laughs> That's how you get people probably interested. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> good luck, Dad. That's a bright picture. How crazy is that? No fence, and they're that close to us. He's about to get her again. Ooh. Oh, they were so loud, and I turned my camera on. Hey. Mm. Ready? Go. Is it because they walked over here? That's what they are. 
Ain't no joke either. Hey, you down there? chicken strips Rach. Very good. She says they were good. Those are not gluten free but she says they were good. How about y'all's fries? Yeah. They said those are good. Those are not gluten free. Uh, but they had Doritos so I ate those with my burger. Um, what else are our thoughts? The Sky Far is so cool. Gotta do it. And that is in the video. The zoo is very spread out so that was the only thing it's like kind of laid out where we kept getting lost but it was cool we still liked it it's still a good zoo i like that it had an australia section because not a lot of zoos here have like an australia section like not a lot of them have kangaroos i mean i've never seen those laughing whatever <laughs> laughing kookaburros bird also in the video so that's cool uh, now we're headed to Kansas City Royals game, so stay tuned for that. Thank you. Royals Hall of Fame. It's free, and it's open on game days. That's cool. Brett Hauser and Mike, retired number. If you want to read, you should pause. Because I don't. Probably going to need some big glasses and some zoom too. Hey, Laurie, look, you made it. I did? Yeah. You're a royal ed. <laughs> That's me. I knew I was famous somewhere. <laughs>
God Bless America after taking out the vlogging on the second inning stretch, and I basically never want to come back now. So, way to go, Kansas City. I actually liked your stadium until right now. So, yeah, that's how I feel about that. of this video if you enjoyed my time in kansas city please give this video a thumbs up drop a comment if you have a question and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i hope you enjoyed it i know we had a blast thanks for watching